Oh, hi. Yeah, since you're here, let's talk about my spin machine I waited four years for. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, you put your beans in the top. Well, first you spend a thousand bucks. You get the machine. You hook it up to your phone using the uh, spin app. And, and your phone runs this machine. It's pretty cool. Beans go in here. Water goes in the back. And uh, it's pretty simple. Decide what kind of a coffee you want. You hit the button and the machine does all the rest. It uses centrifugal force. It regulates the flow of uh, water and somehow brews a killer brew for you. And you get up in the morning after you've hit your thing laying in bed and there's your, your coffee already made for you. Can't beat it. Never had anything that can beat it. Here's what I don't like about it. Every three months, uh, there's three of us in this household to drink coffee, so about every three months, uh, depending on your use, this kicks up and says, I need a new one of these. These are 26 bucks a piece. Uh, they were originally freight on them was $12. They reduced that to five. So at 31 bucks, I'll spend $124 a year putting filters in this machine. Crazy. This is a $400 coffee machine back here. I got it for 99 bucks. Don't ask me how, but it's the best machine I've ever had. It's five years old. It brews killer coffee. This is a $25 AeroPress. I've had it for 15 years. It brews the best coffee I've ever drank anywhere. This is a French press. It costs about 19 bucks. Brews great coffee. All of these machines are a combination of ground coffee beans and hot water. You mix them. If you don't like it, you add more beans, you add more water, you change the grind, you change the water temperature. There's not too many variables. Mess around with different filters if you want to. This machine, if it doesn't make good coffee, it's a mystery. I don't know why. You pay a thousand bucks for the machine so you can call spin. Clean it, buy another filter. This machine did put out good coffee for me for a few months, and then suddenly it started making coffee that tasted bitter to me. And I can't fix it. I don't know what this machine's supposed to do. Spin tells me to clean it. Well, I've cleaned it. Spin tells me to buy their coffees. I've bought their coffees. I like the coffees I can get right at my own grocery store. I, I roasted locally. The biggest problem I have with this machine is if it doesn't make good coffee, I'm at the mercy of, of uh, Spin. I'm at the mercy of Big Brother. I can't fix this machine. Whatever goes on in here is a mystery. It's got a lot of great things going for it, but the biggest great thing that it doesn't have going for it is good tasting coffee. If you're the type of person that likes turning your control of your life over to a computer, go for this thing. If it doesn't work right, call up the factory and let them baby you. If you're the type of person that likes to be able to fix things yourself, Stay with something simple like a coffee maker that uses hot water and ground beans and leaves the computer magic and centrifugal force up to the people who study it for a living and probably drink coffee from a brewing process just like this. That's it. That's my review. Don't buy a spin machine if you're uh, budget conscious or uh, you don't like turning your life over to computers. Thanks for watching. Best coffee I've ever had.